Going live has never been easier than in 2022. So let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. In today's video, we'll be looking at Melon and I'm going to highlight some of the updates for 2022 that have come to Melon since my last video. Now, Melon is an online service that allows you to go live with overlays, backgrounds, music, video, as well as inviting guests. Now, there's some huge updates that have come to Melon and they're slashing their prices, but more about that later. So let's have a look at what you get when you sign up for Melon. And let's also look at some of the additional new features that they've brought into Melon ready for you to start live streaming. Now here I'm in the main interface of Melon. And as you can see on the left-hand side, this is my feed from my webcam. This is the integrated webcam. Now I can also change this to be any other webcam, but for now I'm going to leave it as it is. Here we have our main view, and this is a background with an overlay, but I'll talk more about that later. You can also see at the bottom that my microphone is being picked up here. I can mute my microphone or unmute that. Now all these things are linked to shortcuts as well, and that will really speed up how you switch between these different scenes as you are live streaming. But before we can live stream, we have to connect it to a target. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to jump into my settings here on the right hand side, my account settings, and I'm going to select settings. Here I can now choose a destination. So let's go ahead and add a destination. I can choose any of these destinations here. You can see we can stream to Twitch, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. I'm going to stream it to YouTube. So let's go ahead and select YouTube. It's going to ask me to sign into my account. So let's go ahead and sign into our account. There we go, it's been added as a destination. Now some additional options we have within Melon are here on the left hand side. So we can see past broadcasts and recordings, more about that later. We have the profiler. This allows me to double check my camera, audio, make sure everything works. We have the billing. This is the information about the subscription that you're on, more about that price later, and our account settings. So here you can see we have our account settings as well. Now let's jump into the studio. So when I click on go to studio, I'm now in the studio right here. And you can see there's already a couple of elements here and I can move these around. I can resize them however I want. I can also select to show my feed onto the stream. And then this is what it will look like. Now we can change everything here at the bottom. We can have different views, maybe even smaller. And as we pull in guests, we can have multiple guests here. So you can see this is enabled for two to three participants, three to four and more. We can also pull in our screen. So here, for example, if I click on this, I can choose to share my screen. I can share background audio. This is great if your stream has some background music and I can share a video. So let's go ahead and select video. We're going to select our video. So here it's obviously saying it uses more resources. Make sure that you're on a high-end computer. I am on a high-end computer, so no problem here. Let's click on I understand and let's proceed. I'm going to select the flipped video wallpaper. So there we go, we have that video now. It's on the left-hand side because it's ready to be pulled in. And as soon as I click on show on stream, that video is pulled in and I can play it for everyone in the stream to see. So you can see we have that source here. I'm still on the left-hand side. I can also toggle between these. So if I say, okay, hide me on the stream, now they still see that video and the overlay is still present. I can then show myself again, or I can double click and then I go back to the spotlight. Now you can use multiple camera inputs for this and you can pull them all in. You can also invite guests. So for example, when I click on this, I can copy that link, I can send it to my guests and they can join in with Melon to join my live stream. Now setting up your stream is as easy as opening up the menus on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to the right and here we have our menu. Now this menu allows us to change anything about our stream. So we can change the design. Now here we have different themes. So for example, we have a yellow theme. We can have our brand colors. We can change these use different fonts. We can have secondary fonts as well as background images. Now, yes, you can upload your own background images or you simply select one of the background images already part of Melon. So right here, you can see if I was to select this background image, I can now also add an overlay. So this is one option. Here is another. We have another option. Plenty of overlays available. I'm going to stick to these leaves. We're going to apply this and we are now applying this new theme to our stream. 
We can also jump into the text options. This is where we can add a banner or a ticker. So for example, here, I can show this banner and then that banner will show up at the bottom. Welcome to our Google Drawings webinar. Now you can change that text. So let's just say that we're not talking about Google Drawings, but say that we're talking about Melon. Well, there we go. We can update this and our banner will now reflect. Welcome to our Melon webinar. We can move this banner around. We can place it anywhere we want on our live stream. We can also show different banners. So you can see here, I can add multiple banners and then switch between those. We also have a ticker. So let's just go ahead and hide this banner for now. And let's turn on one of the tickers. We're going to show the first one and there we go. Don't forget to introduce yourself in the chat. That will run across the bottom of our screen. And as we are streaming, we can change these tickers. So for example, we have a second ticker here. There we go. This has a link to the website and we can always switch back and forth between these tickers. Maybe you need to create one during your live stream. No problem. Simply click on add new and you can add multiple tickers. We're going to hide this ticker and I'm going to show you some additional features because we don't just have video we can pull in, as you saw here, from our hard drive. We can also add intros and outros. So here you can see there's a couple of clips already included. We have the intro clips. All these are part of Melon. We can click on show more to see even more countdowns. So you can see here there's a countdown going live in one minute, five minutes and many more options. I'm going to select this one. Let's just have a look at this one. Let's click on play. And there we go. Now it has music, it has the countdown. This becomes part of your live stream. So let's say that I want to use this one. Well, I'm going to click on those three dots and set this as my intro. From now on, you will see this little notification here in the top left corner. It, it tells me that it's part of the intro. That means when I go live, this will play before I see myself on the stream. It's great for yourself, for the guests, for everyone involved in that stream to really prepare themselves before they go live. Now, in addition to an intro, we also have outros. So you can also choose any of these other clips and then set them as an outro. Right, that's it for clips. Well, we can also add a green screen. Now, this is one of those new features that has rolled out, and that means that you and your guests can use green screens and can be featured onto the scene with a virtual background. So here we can change those backgrounds for a green screen or simply upload our own. Now, you do need a green screen in order for this to work, which brings us to the main settings of the video feed. So here, when you go into settings, you'll see you have an output. You have a full HD output, no problem and we can also record our stream. Now, one of my favorite updates to Melon is actually the local recording. Now, the local recording is still in beta, but local recordings means that as you have guests on, everyone will have their feed recorded. You still have that high quality file that you can then use for your edits later on. This is incredibly useful. I always have this turned on. This means that all the participants in your stream will have a locally recorded file and you can then use that file for your edits. So if you are losing your connection or you're on a poor connection, well, that option, that local recording will enable you to make sure that you have high quality files that you can then edit afterwards. Great if you're doing a live stream and then you want to repurpose that content for videos. Then we can also add our participant name. So here you can see we have a participant name. We can upload a stream avatar for myself. This is our logo. So I've put that flipped logo there, but this could be any avatar you want to upload. We can also show the participants names or not. We can show their status. We can also even announce whenever someone joins our stream. Now I don't turn this on, but I do like to turn on the speaker indicator because that shows you who is currently speaking and presenting. We can also turn on the name at the bottom. That means that as people are presented on the stream, as you can see here, the name is at the bottom. So when I turn this off, that name is at the top. When I turn this on, my name is at the bottom. Now you don't have to show the name. So for example, if I turn this off and there is no name at all, but with multiple participants, it does make sense to have that name right there. We also have the audio status. So as you can see here, my mic is on or off. This shows you that the mic is off and then on again. And I'm going to just leave that off. We also have that ticker. We can have the reverse direction. That means that the ticker will move in the other direction 
or we can make sure that the ticker is always shown on top of whatever is happening in our stream. So these are some of the additional features. And then for those that are really serious about live streaming, we can integrate with other applications. So under apps, you can see this allows us to pull in widgets. Let's say that you're streaming and you've got a donation feature or anything you can think of. Well, you can pull in those widgets by connecting it to Streamlabs. You can also connect it to CloudBot, which is again part of Streamlabs and to your socials, which will then notify all the people that are following you on Twitter whenever you're going live. So these are some integrations with external third-party apps. Now, during the stream, we are all about participation and getting people involved. And so the chat is an incredibly important part of a stream. Well, that is here on the right-hand side. Here you can see the chat. Your participants have a private chat, so you can chat privately. It's not shown on stream. Maybe say, okay, in 10 minutes, I'm going to pull you in and then they are notified in that private chat. The public chat, that is the one that everyone sees on your stream. And then finally, we also have this schedule tool, which allows us to schedule out our live streams. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, let's go ahead and just go live and see what it looks like in action. So let's say that I've got everything set up. I'm just going to simply hide this, show the background, show those tools. Now I'm ready on the left-hand side, but this will not show up when I go live. We're going to go to the bottom and here we can now choose to record. This will record your stream, but it won't go out to those connected targets. And here we can go live. So let's do that now. I'm going to click on go live. Okay, so let's say that we're ready to go live. We're going to select our destination and we're also going to set the type of stream. So this is a public stream, private or unlisted. I'm going to have a private stream. Now we can click on next. It will connect to YouTube and we can give it a title. So let's call this demo of Melon streaming in 2022. There we go. And then we're also going to add a description demo of the platform. Then we add a category. So I'm going to add education and click on go live. Stream gives me a countdown and then we'll have that intro video. There we go. As you can see now, the video is playing and this is what is going out to the stream. Now, my microphone is turned off. The guests are still off stream. And as soon as the stream begins, as soon as that countdown has reached zero, we are going to be live. So you can see we've got 10 minutes left. We can click on show on stream and then our audio and video feed will be pulled out. And here we are, we are now live using Melon. Now you can see everything that we need is here. We have our overlays, our logo, our name at the bottom. Now I can also change the way this looks. You can see my background is still there. I can even hide myself. You can't see me. Now I'm going to show myself on stream. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm not just going to stream out this part of our live stream, but I'm also going to just pull up a couple of those tickers that I've prepared. So let's just jump into the text part. Let's open up our banner. There we go. Boom. We've got our banner on screen. Now we can also hide our banner, do whatever we want, and we can also pull in our ticker. Now that ticker will start running down the bottom. Everything here is live. Now you can see in the top corner that there is also a little mark there that tells us that we are live, that the stream recording is in progress and our local recordings are in progress as well. In other words, we'll have high quality files locally, recorded online, as well as everything streamed out live. I can now share the stream. You can see here, I've got those links. They can be shared to other people and I can open it in a new tab to double check that everything is working. And let's say that we have finished the stream, we're ready to end it. Well, we can click on end at the bottom and end our stream. There we go, that's the end. It is finishing up those recordings. We can click on next and we can then share what our experience was. Now, my experience was great, so I'm just going to go ahead and add great. Now, where do I find my recordings? Well, I can find my recordings in my menu. So let's go ahead and click on the menu right here, account. Let's go into our settings. Here on the left-hand side, you'll see we have broadcasts and recordings. This is where I can find previous recordings. Here's the one that we've just recorded. It was streamed out to YouTube. 
there is a stream recording and a local recording available. Let's go ahead and click on that. And here we have access. We have access to the video. We have access to the audio only. Great for podcasts. If you want to add some podcasts or redistribute them to your podcast server, you can do that right here. And we also have our separate tracks. These are the separate tracks of all the participants in your stream. So if you have multiple interviews, multiple people, they will each have their own track here that you can then use for your edits. So here you can see, this is the track of the webcam. And then this is the track of the mainstream with the overlay and backgrounds. So all in all, Melon is an amazing application that you can use to go live in no time. Now their pricing is being updated and this is such an exciting thing. See, now Melon has two premium tiers, a standard tier and a pro tier. Now the standard tier is now $5 a month instead of the previous 15. And their pro tier has been slashed to $15 a month instead of the previous. So we're looking at five or 15 a month for access to all the features you see here. Now I'll leave a link in that description below that you can click on and sends you straight to their platform. You can find out about their free tier, their standard, their pro tier, but those new prices make it an amazing application if you are looking to upgrade your live streams whilst still keeping it super easy to go live. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in that comment section below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.